Welcome back, guys, to episode number six of Cities Skylines, the vacation series. If you uh, if you missed it when I mentioned it earlier, just a brief update reminder. I recorded this whole series in advance, ahead of time, because I am going on vacation. I'm on vacation right now. And this is my have some content while I'm away series. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm having fun playing this game. I really like it a lot. Okay, uh, beginning of episode six, our electricity... It's continuing to be a problem, and we're dancing closer and closer to this yellow line. We need to make some additional power changes. I'm going to continue using wind turbines for at least a little bit. Uh, we did get the availability of using oil power plants for heavy pollution. Uh, eventually, we're going to get some other things. When are we getting this guy? Hydro power plant. Population of 8,000. We're only halfway there. Uh, I'm going to keep using windmills for now. This is going to be our clean and nice and pretty section of the city. Later on, we will definitely have a highly polluted section of the city. I, I just, I can't play a city builder without having at least one area with tons of pollution all over the place. In, in one limited area, but a lot of pollution in one area. We definitely need to have a section of the city like that. Uh, eight, okay, good. Let's squeeze it in here as tight as we can. Okay. Good. Uh, so, yeah, we're only, because we have so many windmills, and they're only providing eight each, every time we make one, our power only jumps up a little bit. Eventually, we are going to have to move on to uh, the more polluted stuff. All right, so we were building this area. Looks like uh, they want they want commercial zones and a little bit of residential and a tiny amount of industrial. So all of that right now is is the industrial area. I think what I want to do I want to add a road and a little bit, just a little bit more mm, house area, and then I'm gonna put some commercial area in between the two. So let's grab the road tool. Oh, we've got these new options now. Two-lane road with... Let's take a look at the uh, uh, the differences. So this is the basic two-lane road. $40 a cell and $0.32 cents a week per cell of upkeep, which will be important down the road as the city gets bigger and bigger. Um, so $40 a cell. This one is $50 a cell, $0.40 cents a week. Okay, and this one is $60 a cell, 48 cents a week per cell. And we can, of course, upgrade this stuff. So let's, let's actually upgrade this road to the one with trees. Now, are we going to lose sidewalks? I think actually we'll lose sidewalks if we do this. Oh, no, no, never mind. It has... Uh, oh, it's one way. Oops. Wait a second. Ooh. Oh, no, it's it's two way. It's two way. It's just the lanes are much narrower, which I guess doesn't matter. They just don't have a place to park on the side of the road. See how these guys just parked there? Uh, on this road, they don't have that option. So maybe we won't do every cell like that because we want them to have somewhere to park. Ooh, did they just move out? Because we took away their parking spot. How mean of us. Okay, uh, so yeah, we'll have some of these cells... Be like that and some not and it looks like people moved out i guess that slightly changed the size of the road which made people move out um so let's see let's do the the two lane with grass and we're not upgrading i want this tool and we're gonna have to evict some people that's all right we're gonna do kind of like a kind of like a this a thing and just have it sort of make the same shape uh, you know what? Mm, let's do that again. There we go. There we... Yes. Mm, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Start over. Try again. The shape must be perfect. We must also keep in mind the... You see the, the blue outline around where the road's going to go. That's where the, uh, the zoning's going to be. And I need to keep in mind... That uh, I want optimal zoning when possible. Ooh, uh, bam. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's make at least most of that, if not all of that. 
residential. At least all the stuff on this side. Uh, and then we've got this, like, squiggly section here. Uh, this squiggly section here. All this stuff is squiggly in all houses. And we've got this super straight stuff for industrial. And I think I want to link them. So let's grab these roads. And can I... Will I... Can I connect it up to that? I'm not sure if it will let me make an intersection right there. Oh, you know what? I want the uh, the straight road. Not the freeform. Aha, it will. Alright, that's kind of neat, the way it links up like that. Now this one is going to want to go... Yeah, that's not going to work because of the, the supports holding up the highway. Let's just have it do that, and that looks a little weird, but okay. But okay, that's fine. Um, okay, and let's have some roads going through this way. Or I guess just that one. Um, we do have space for more things here. Like, I could do that, but I don't think I'm going to. We may, maybe we'll put some park space in there or something one day. And I could also do something... I could even do that. But no, I think that's enough for right now. So let's create some commercial zoning. Um, yeah, we'll have a little mixed zone area. This is industrial. Well, that's okay. It's okay. There. Commercial area. Now, I have no idea if being under the interstate makes it unfavorable. People aren't going to want to uh, put their business there or whatever. I have no idea. But I'm not really concerned about it either, so it's fine. Okay, uh, let's take another look at the power. Power's fine. Water's fine. We have some empty buildings. Uh, but I think in the long run, that kind of stuff will sort itself out. Like, we had a bunch of empty buildings here at one point, And now they're mostly filled in. So I'm not too concerned about it. As long as we keep meeting our demands um, and slowly, at least eventually, keep up with things like uh, police stations and schools and all that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, looks like I've got a little bit here. Could have zoned that. Uh, oh, you know what I'd like to take a look at is uh, an updated look at the, yeah, the power. So I can delete some of these power lines. I always like to go back and delete power lines when I can. Like, at one point, I these two areas were totally separate, and now their power systems are just connected. Oops. Oops. Let's rezone. No, I don't have to rezone it. I guess I demolished a building. Uh, but yeah, we don't need those power lines anymore. And now, we could delete a lot of these power lines. This is totally unnecessary to do. But these things do actually, they do have an upkeep. 48 cents per week per cell, which actually isn't that much. Um, you don't need to do this, but I like to have as few of these power lines as possible. So now that I've done that, we can come back and get rid of all these. Come on, Phil. And you, and you, and you, all right. Um, and it looks like, yeah, this, power's, th this power has linked. I think because I made enough of these windmills, like, this windmill here ended up connecting with these buildings here, so I should be able to... Oh, careful. That's... Be really careful there. I should be able to get rid of all this. Okay. Now, if these buildings move out, will this power... Will this power grid and this power grid, will they disconnect? I'm not sure. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. I mean, if it does happen, we'll know right away. Because, well... Half the city is going to be out of power. Uh, but that looks fine. Yeah, okay, so let's take a look. I've deleted some power lines. Let's look to see if there's any bits where I can fill in the gaps. Uh, I deleted some power lines over here. Okay, this. There must have been power lines right there. And right here. Bam! Bam! I don't know if anybody's going to want to live there, but apparently somebody does. Right there, right there. Good. Uh, okay, and let's... Let's zone this stuff. 
Um, so they want more residential space again. All of this is going to be residential. So I'm thinking uh, some of this will make residential here. Just to fulfill that immediate desire for residential space. So I'll do that. Uh, they still want some commercial space, though. So I'm going to do a little bit of commercial space as well. Uh, oh, a lot of that's not zoned properly. Possibly because there was a power line there. I don't know. All right, uh, let's zoom out. Let's take a look at our upcoming milestone. 6,000 people. Yeah, we're still we're quite a ways from this one. Uh, we need to expand a lot to reach that point. Uh, we'll have the ability to get another zone, but we still have one we haven't bought that we could buy. All kinds of policies. Ooh, and we are going to unlock the high-density residential, commercial, and the office zone. Oh, that's really good. All right, uh, one thing we haven't really looked at are the unique building tabs, and I haven't because I didn't think I unlocked them. Uh, we unlocked the ability just to look in here, but each of these has individual um, requirements to be able to build it. So, for instance, this one, construct two instances of airport. And this thing by itself costs $75,000. So we're like, a lot of these are expensive. Basic, I think almost all of them are. I haven't looked at every single one. Uh, this one's only 12,000. Okay, but we need 10 cemeteries for that. Um, statue of shopping. Okay, so this one's only 10,000. Upkeep $16 a week. Shopping is a wonderful thing. The statue of shopping is a constant reminder of the bliss that is purchased. Uh, okay, so I could make that actually. And it might be good in a commercial area. I don't really know what the effect is, but it seems like something that would give a good um, a good effect to a commercial area. So let's do that. There we go. Needs power. Uh, surely not. Okay, yeah, that was just it was just getting set up. There we go. Let's celebrate consumerism. And I've also got decoration, which I haven't really looked at. Small playground, plaza with trees, park with trees, uh, large playground. Uh, I don't think I want to do too much here. Gravel path, and then uh, we can put individual trees and stuff. I'm not too worried about that stuff yet. I want to get to, like, we're making about 4000 a week. I want to be making more than I'm spending, basically, and we're nowhere near that point yet. Because I could, I could just go crazy with highways and blow through a ton of money. Power's fine, at least for a bit. Water is starting to decline again. Uh, let's... Oh, look at this. This definitely needs updating. Okay. Uh, but the rest of that is fine. And then all of that's fine. Yeah. All that's fine. Uh, what else was I going to look at? Okay, let's take a look at our garbage collection. Landfill usage is up to 43. This guy is 75% full. Uh, where's my other one? Here. And this guy is... 11% full. Okay, so that that's okay for now. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Healthcare uh, is doing alright. Got a few clinics. And one cemetery. Where's my cemetery? I put it right here. Three out of 3,000 dead people stored. Okay, not a big deal. As the city gets older, though, that'll become more important. All right, and then the fire department, I think, is fine for right now, as is the police department. So education is also fine. I don't have any high schools. Those are 24,000, though. Um, so I'm not really worried about that. And public transport, I'm going to wait for something more advanced than buses. All right. So that means we can continue working, I think, extending the highway next. I still have to move this one in here. And that may... Ooh. Maybe I should have built that before I built all this. Let's see if that's going to be an issue. Uh, ooh, highway with sound barrier. I might want to add that later. How much is the difference in price? An extra $20 to sell. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, and we want uh, this guy. And we want it to basically mirror. This might... I might have made this, like, impossible to make. And we might have to demolish a bunch of stuff. <laughs> we'll see. 
We'll see. I don't want the bridge thingy. Why is the bridge thing there? There. There. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, so this might be the tricky part right here. Oh, wait. Is it still the same? Yeah, it's still the same height as the other one. I probably should have built this first, uh, but I was I was limited by cash, and I really needed to start um, expanding the city. And now it looks real derpy. Okay, so let's tell you what, let's delete this. Um, shoot, let's just try once more. See if I can get it to work. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's not terrible. Doesn't exactly mirror what I had before, but that's okay. Okay, that looks a little weird, but that's okay. That's okay. That's all right. It worked. Um, I ended up building that thing first. So, did I still need entrance and exit ramps? I think those were all built. Oh, and part of this is backwards, huh? Okay, so let's grab the upgradey doodad. Um, this section. Yeah, all that stuff we built is going the wrong way. So let's rotate it all by right-clicking with the upgrade. Okay, that's all good. Now the exit and entrance ramps, are those all in the proper direction? If they if they were not in the proper direction, uh, we would be... Yeah, they seem to be fine. We would see a lot of these little wrong direction icons. Okay, um, so I've got $20,000. I'm going to build one more windmill. Uh, one more windmill over here, I guess, on our little windmill hill. And then I think, yeah, in the future, if I have enough money, I need to be extending the highway first before I build this other stuff. Uh, right now, though, they do want a lot of residential. So let's think about where the highway is going to go. Right now, it's done this really squiggly thing going under here. Uh, and I think I'm going to have it split. So the highway at some point is going to split. And one of them is going to go up this natural ramp here. And hopefully, if it's possible, if the game will let me do it, up this mountain pass, like on this hill, on this ledge, up that away, up here, and then one day, like, reconnect into the highway here. So it'll do like a big, it'll be like a big square kind of thing. Or maybe it'll go, actually, maybe it's better if it goes up this mountain pass here and then over to there. Maybe that's better. Yeah, okay, so we're going to do that. It's going to go up here. That looks pretty good. Uh, and I also want it to split and head off in this direction somewhere. So it probably needs to split right about there, right? If it's going to go up there. So I am I think what I'll do is I'll just build it like it's going to go up there and then split it off after that part is built. Okay, um... So let's extend that. I don't want to upgrade. Yeah, nice and long and space already occupied. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe we get rid of this just to get it out of the way and deal with that later. Not enough money. Oh, yeah. This stuff gets expensive. Okay. And those are going the wrong way. So let's hit the upgrade thing and then right-click them all to uh, reverse each individual cell. There we go. Man, we got a lot of empty buildings here. What's your guy's problem? Get to work, slackers. Uh, all right, and then the other side is going to cost like another 20000 but I don't have that much. And this is probably a good point to end the episode, and I'll try to wait uh, a few weeks in-game time.
try to get some cash up so that uh, when we start the next episode, I'll have some money to spend. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. See you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.